So it might be a bit noisy, folks, but there's 2,146 pictures, and they're going to be downloaded in the zip file, and take them out of your zip file and put them in another folder because they're harder to work with. And that will look like uh, this when you put them in another folder. They'll all line up. If you were to download everything and just put them all in one folder like I got there, they all line up in numbers. And so you can see one, twos, and fours as you download it. They're numbered. And so originally when you open those zip files and you go like, you open up to your pictures, normally you can see the pictures, but you can't when it's in a zip file. At least on the windows anyway. And so, if, but if you do put them in a, if you put them in a normal, take them out of that folder and put them in another folder, they all line up. And then you can just zoom in. So I want to show you that very quick here and that is pretty good quality right that's pretty good quality folks nobody can debate that that's good quality and these this is important what I'm telling you is that this was taken on the 15th so that was Fukushima 50 went in there and took all of these pictures pretty well it was a couple of weeks before anybody else got in there the Fukushima 50 went in documented everything so these are the pictures you're looking at and we got some doozies here. Like some of this stuff is going to be blurred because radiation does that with cameras and they use plastic on their cameras a lot. And you should be grateful because these are pictures from those dates, okay? You can see the dates right here, 2011, 3.15 to 16. That was all Fukushima 50 doing all of that. And so water discharging reactor, conditions around unit 1 to 4, Conditions of the dry cache storage. You see where it all got slammed with the tsunami in those pictures. And I got them all right here. Um, that's just about it. It's really easy. Once again, just to make sure everybody gets a handle on it, just click on it and it'll go download automatically for you. Now it's downloading. It's back here. And you can click five or six of these in a row. You can see three megabytes, 39 megabytes. So that's probably got about 40 or 50 pictures into it. And there's a big list all the way down to 99. All the way down to 99. And the dates are all there. You can see uh, this is only April 2011, the 9th. That would have still been Fukushima 50, right? That went and took all of those pictures, folks. And so, like you say, you're going to find that some pictures are going to be distorted because of radiation. Some pictures are going to be distorted because there's plastic bag. Some pictures are going to be distorted because these people were probably terrified and had every right to be and we should download these pictures these 2146 pictures just on this page right here the link is below I think it's really important and so I want to make sure everybody gets an opportunity to come and get those pictures uh, like you say you have to see between the lines a lot of the times and don't forget about the FOIA release the Japanese uh, plume gate if you can marry those dates up with these pictures, uh, you might find some really interesting stuff because that's how I found it. Take care, folks. We'll see you in a day or two. Uh, we need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, That's what this is about. Like I say, go to the Remix button, hit the Remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.